So this is our uh, 11th year doing this with Institute of Culinary Education. Always a fun event. Uh, I've made every single year so far. And uh, this is really important to us at Allagash because food and beer has been a really integral part of our culture at the brewery. I've spent the last 18 years doing beer dinners all over the country, just talking to people about pairing beer with food, how different beers bring different flavors out in the food, and vice versa. And um, this event has really been a big part of that over the, over the past almost dozen years, and we hope to continue it for years going forward. This year it's the Resurgum, and the Resurgum is part of our Cool Ship series, which we've been brewing for the last, I think, seven or so years now. It's a totally 100% spontaneously fermented beer, so it's brewed in the tradition of the Belgian Lambic beers. We don't use the word Lambic out of respect for the Belgian brewers, but it is brewed in that tradition. It's 100% spontaneously fermented. So interesting beer to pair with food just because it's got uh, such unique flavors to it. The tart, dry character works real well with a lot of different food. So it was, it was a fun beer, I think, for the chefs to cook with today. Tonight, um, we had three different student competitors that we selected out, actually out of a group of 27 students that submitted recipes. Three student competitors that worked with uh, the Cool Chef Resurgum and they were all three uh, really good plates. And we had a great uh, panel of chef judges and a really good turnout from both uh, the ICE people and um, all the Allagash uh, clients. My name is Josh Bernstein. I'm a Brooklyn-based uh, beer writer, journalist, author, homebrew tour giver, and I am judging the Allagash cooking competition. Tonight we're exploring all the fringes of flavor and how many ways Guza can go with food. For our top three recipes, we chose a poached lobster with a grilled endive. We chose a sauteed duck breast with braised cabbage and a beer battered chicken with a potato waffle. And we thought all three of them really used the beer well and paired with the beer with a beautiful Belgian theme. And actually the favorite ended up being the uh, duck breast that was done with this really amazing decadent cabbage and cherries that were just so buttery and delicious that it's hard to say no. It's a very classic dish, but done with the goose in there, it really cuts through the richness in a really nice way. I had initially thought of, you know, things that I like to eat, and duck is one of them, and I, I thought it would go really well with the, the sour component of the beer. And braised cabbage definitely came to mind as, as something that would go well with the hearty and, and the, the tart acidity of the beer. But I also like the idea of doing something like a savory waffle, which a couple other people I think had the same idea. I had actually been uh, ex exposed to the idea of the, the spontaneous fermentation and that, that kind of funky tartness um, when I was in Belgium and we went to the, the Cantillon Brewery and they talked about how they just get yeast from the air and I was like, I didn't know you could do that, just pull yeast out of the air. Um, and it was one of those things that's not a common style, so when you do see that on the menu and you order it, it was always something I got really excited about. I liked sour and uh, I wanted something that was like really sort of hit you in the face. Um, but my relationship with beer, especially with cooking, um, you know, I just feel that they go hand in hand. It worked out very well and I'm very pleased with how it came out and, and uh, it, it was a great beer to cook with. It was a fun time, it's always, I think it's probably my most favorite competition that we host every year at ICE. I'm looking forward to next year already. I'm hoping to get it on the schedule and you know, we got a great turnout with a lot of local restaurants and bars and chefs and people in the beer business and hopefully next year we'll get an even bigger turnout and have just as much fun.